can't watch a game. Well, that seems to be a theme in your life. You watching sports, it seems to be a source of a lot of troubles. Actually, a few weeks ago, I was watching the game. I had some time to watch the game. Mm -hmm. My wife was busy, and I invite my friend over, and he brought his fiance with him, and he, he kind of ruined it now for us. Right. I mean, if the women would start talking to each other, okay, we could watch, but they weren't. I could, they, they had that let's play Pictionary look on their face. I was starting to panic. Mm. And then I tried something that actually worked. You can actually jumpstart a conversation sometimes between two women. I just said to my friend's fiance, uh, Kathy, what color bridesmaids dresses are you getting? She was, oh, they're blue. They're off the shoulder. And my wife, really blue? Boom, we're watching the game right there. Oh, mm. The hardest thing is when I'm in a department store during the big game, because right. most of the time I'm shopping with my wife, and then your only hope is when you walk by the TV section for a little while. Like, oh, honey, go try it on. Try that on. I'll be right here. And, no, you look you look fat in that one. Try another one on. Yeah. That's cunning. That's pathetic. Yeah. You, you... We're all there. All the married men are just shuffling around the TVs. Hi, how are you? Yeah, hi. What's up? Hey, you're new here. Get in the back, buddy. What are you trying to pull? You're on lookout. It's just that I, we don't sleep and, oh sure. you know, that's the worst noise, the most disturbing noise a parent can hear in the middle of the night is, it's not a smoke alarm or a burglar alarm, it's yeah. it's that little noise that means your your child is starting to wake up, you know, it's, it's very subtle, it's very quiet and all of a sudden he's like, Nee-. and oh, it's a chill goes down your spine right there and, right. and first you're in denial, you know, you're like, well, hey, could have been a car horn, you know. And about a minute later, it picks up steam. Like, Nyeh! shut the door and turn the air conditioner on. It's hot. I'm hot. Where's my Walkman? I'm not getting up. I'm just too tired. I'm just tired. The kids. I'm just. I can't snap out of it. I fell asleep driving the car. I did that. Uh, uh, I did that little neck dip. That nanosecond of sleep behind the wheel of the car that just scared the hell out of you. So terrifying. I was just, I was just cruising and just like, mm. ah, holy crap! I'm driving. And then the weird thing is, as frightening as it, as it is, I did it again a few minutes later. You've had a brush with death, and you're, I'm still drowsy after that. How does that happen? If a bullet came through my window, would I fall asleep right after? Oh, tomorrow I'll look at it, honey. I like to go out to eat, which is even more annoying for me. I like to go out for breakfast. Breakfast can be the most annoying meal for me because I need orange juice. I like orange juice, but I need a, a normal size glass. I don't know what kind of shortage we have in our country. You don't get this. This will never be your juice glass. Trust me, this is how they deliver the juice to the restaurant. We have a juice delivery. Your juice is here. Get the hand truck, Fred. We gotta bring that to the loading dock. I always tell the waitress, please, I need a large. Large. Jumbo juice. I don't know how to stress that anymore. No matter what you say, it's a, it's a thimble. A thimble of juice. My wife ordered a Small ones. Oh, they they came around with a damp rag. Oh, 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 I should have got the large. I had a. I almost broke my shower the other day, Doc. I just. It's so frustrating. I have the shower where you can't get an accurate temperature setting. My shower will be too cold, so I'll turn it just a millimeter. That's all. Just a little. Bing. Too hot. Right there. There's no. I've done nothing wrong. You can't turn the knob any less than that. I try. I tried every method of turning that knob as little as possible. Sometimes I just brush up against the knob. Too hot. There's no, it's never the right temperature. It's only, it's the right temperature once while it's on its way towards being the wrong temperature. You soap up your body and I have to wait for it to come around. There it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, la la la. Ow! And then it does something very weird. It's, uh, I'll turn it hotter and it gets a little colder first and then goes to hot. It's like the cold water has to back up and get a running start. Okay, hot. Hello. Hello, Ray. I, I remember when we stopped last week, you were telling me about the roles that you play in your in your household. Yeah. You were the noise checker, is that right? Noise checker and bug killer. Oh, you got promoted. I don't know why. I don't know why women think men like bugs. I'm squeamish. The other day, my wife screamed, and I ran up to the bathroom, and this thing frightened me. I've never seen a bug that large. It was gross. But we had a huge bug. It had graffiti on it. It was one of those rare bugs, and she's hysterical. You kill it. Don't look at it. You kill. And I, I don't care how brave you are. You can't. You don't just rush in and kill a bug like that. You got to plan it all out. You got to go, oh, hey, look at. What if I swing and miss, huh? What? Ha I don't know if he has the gift of flight for one thing. 
And then she told me, spray it. She, most women think any aerosol can can kill a bug. Hairspray, deodorant, she's telling me. I've killed bugs with deodorant. Yeah, so I'm trying to kill a monster with deodorant. And all I could find was the roll-on. No, this crap ain't working. He likes it. He likes this. Look at him. Oh, he wants his tummy done. Beautiful. It's not working, honey. He shouldn't be purring. Oh, I'm sorry, Ray. We're going to have to stop. So you got the bug, right? Yeah. What's that thing crawling up your leg? Oh, 